Hi, I'm Dr. Siever, and we're going to talk about veins, both spider veins and varicose veins. The causes of these two problems is mainly genetics, but following this, there are also many outside environmental factors, such as pregnancy, what job you have, the oxidative stresses like smoking, uh, things that can cause changes in the veins and will enhance the problem. Spider veins can be treated by injection sclerotherapy. Now the word sclerotherapy just means scarring treatment. So what we're trying to do is destroy the vein, let the body reabsorb it as is, and leave the skin with no visible sign of that vein. If we remove them directly, there's always going to be a small puncture site, but it's not as we used to do in the old days with the large railroad track scars. Other treatment options for varicose veins would include taking out the underlying source using a laser, something called EVLT or endovenous laser treatment, in order to destroy the underlying vein, which is causing pressure, which is being transmitted up to the surface veins. When you go online and you Google these, what we call keywords, you will be brought to pages of different people and uh, either their clinics, such as mine, or others. You need to know exactly what the qualifications of the physician are, because there are many people out there calling themselves vein doctors who have not even been at the meetings that I've seen uh, over the years. Uh, that's one way. You want to check the credentials of the person who's going to be treating you and then go get a consultation. And you may want more than one consultation. If you don't feel that the connection is right with the first, go get a second. They're usually free or very low cost. At that point, you'll have a good idea of what you need or what you need to have done in order to make the diagnosis.